Hi there, my name is Andrew Schneider with Systems Environmental Products. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to clean and break down a Tidal Backpack Sprayer Diaphragm Pump. Let's get into it. Occasionally, when you are using your Tidal Backpack Sprayer, debris can get into the pump valves if your foot valve filter is not cleaned regularly and the pump sucks up debris, such as grass. To complete this repair, you will need a Phillips screwdriver, tweezers, and a flashlight. At the end of this video, there will be a picture of the valve parts configuration. However, it is recommended that at each step you take your own pictures to use during the reassembling steps. Without a battery installed and using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the seven screws that hold the cushion and the six screws that hold the back cover plate to the tank. You may require a flashlight for the deeper recessed screws. Set the cover plate to the side, exposing the pump, electrical, and plumbing. Disconnect the electrical power supply and wiring harness cables from the pump. Next, remove the clear braided hose from the pump's hose barbs and the four screws that mount the pump to the tank. After you have removed the pump from the backpack sprayer, you will need your Phillips screwdriver to remove the seven screws from the top of the pump, revealing the first set of valves. Roll back the Santoprene gasket, which will expose the two valves. Starting on the left side, use your flashlight and tweezer to remove any debris. Moving to the right side of the pump, Remove the poppet and spring before using your flashlight and tweezers to remove any debris. Working in reverse order, start on the right valve. Put the spring back onto the valve cavity post. Next, Put the poppet onto the spring with the T facing up. Lastly, slide the white seat through the valve gasket. Fit the Santoprene gasket to the pump's plastic housing. You can do this by using your thumb or the backside of the tweezers to ensure a tight fit. Next, Put the poppet onto the white seat with the T facing downward. Lastly, put the spring back onto the poppet and ensure that the Santoprene gasket is fitted to the black plastic pump housing. Next, take the pump head cover and the seven screws and reinstall on the plastic pump head. To correctly install the head cover plate, the circle should be in the top left-hand corner. When you are tightening the screws, move in a crisscross pattern to ensure that the cover plate is tightening uniformly. Once all seven screws are tightened, look at the gap between the cover plate and the pump head to ensure that there is no gap or that the plastic is cracked. The final steps are to reinstall the pump back onto the sprayer using the four screws. First, find the flow direction arrow on the pump to determine which way the fluid is moving within the pump. This arrow is located on the pump head cover as shown. Next, attach the suction line hose onto the inbound pump hose barb and tighten. Following. Attach the discharge hose to the outbound pump hose barb and tighten.
Attach the pump motor wiring to the circuit board and the yellow cable to the back of the battery slot terminal. To confirm that the installation was done correctly, test the sprayer using a charged battery and by turning the power rocker switch on to either setting. Now that the sprayer is working, you can install the back cover plate and the cushion. Make sure to tuck any loose wires and hose into the cavity of the back plate. And with that, we have successfully cleaned and broke down your Tidal Backpack Sprayer Diaphragm Pump. If your pump is still not working, you may have an airlock in your pump or require a new replacement pump. For more information, you can visit us at www.systemsenvironmental.com or give us a call at 1-800-367-4015.